All right, it is Saturday around, oh, uh, I don't know, one o'clock, I'd say, and well, we got another tractor in. What a surprise. So, we got this Husqvarna LT18 542, I guess, same deal that's actually right there, the exact same sticker. Came off that other tractor that I had and then sold, and now the dude doesn't want to pay me for it. But anyway, um, same exact deal, 18 North Briggs ELS, extended life series, 6-speed transmission, seat, steering wheel, tires. So, I spent a little bit too freely if you ask me. So, we got to put a new motor in it. Luckily, I got a motor and it's sitting right behind me. So, we're going to be putting a new uh, motor in this thing. Uh, I have the deck for it, the deck's outside. I had a you know, take it off so I can load it up on the trailer. Um, but this is a six speed, it's just pretty, pretty good. It's got a lot of rust on the shifter, so I'll have to clean that up, I guess, but uh, not too bad. And then we got this little guy. A little Craftsman, oh, LT1000 there, hood's over there. Uh, pretty much there's nothing there except for the motor and the hood and the front axle. Rear axle's gone, everything else is cut. So, yeah, holy. Just a 16 horse. It's a 2000 model, that's a 2003. But, uh, yeah, holy. And then I also got this tractor. Wait, where's the rest of it? There it is. It's a little baby tractor. Yeah, check that little guy out, huh? Like, that's probably about, my house farm is about three times the size of that thing. I mean, it's only, where my tape measure go? It's tiny, I can tell you that. It's only got a full horse in it. And it was made in 1965, according to the motor. Let's see, how I'm going to measure this. Really nothing too, son of a bitch. Uh, let's see, we're looking at about 44 inches, and it's about two feet wide. <laughs> Probably got like a 27 inch mower deck maybe on it. So, yeah, it's definitely different. You know, like I, like I always say, I like different shit. This thing engages the deck, you get the little shifter thing, and then there's like a little height adjuster piece right there. And, Steering wheel is like pretty much right in your face. That's awesome. But it's pretty cool if you ask me. And I don't know what the deal with it is. It, I don't know. Let's we'll have to wait and see. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I just got all the shit in. I'll give it a little power washing. And uh, maybe mow the lawn with it by the end of the day. You know? It's pretty cool. It'd be a fun little restore project, but I kind of like it the way it is. Holy, a text message. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's 107. Another YouTuber just texted me. But, um, yeah, so I just thought it was pretty cool. I mean, look at that tractor compared to that little guy. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I think I'm just going to get it running. Maybe mow my yard with it by the end of the day. You never know. I don't want to be working on these guys. Probably Monday. Do the motor swap, get everything going Monday. Um, so then we also got uh, we got two other tractors. They're not here. They're at another yard I store at now. Um, and it is a uh, white outdoor MTD tractor. Um, doesn't need anything. It's pretty clean. It probably just gonna need a battery though. Uh, you know, it just needs basic tune-up, but. Other than that, it's all there. Seat's in good shape. Everything's in good shape. Looks like it's always been garaged. I got the bagger. It's a two-bin bagger there. Um, so that'll be coming here oh, uh, probably later on next week. Uh, we'll get that in. We also got a Scott's lawn tractor. It's not as big as the big one that I had before. It's a little bit smaller. Um, kind of looks like that John Deere STX38. Um, same deal there. Then we got to go back up Tuesday, I think it is. We're going back up there to pick up more tractors. Uh, we pretty much hit a pretty big score. Today's cost of 
all four and a half tractors, including this little guy, um, was 200 bucks. So that worked out pretty good. And now when we go back up there Tuesday, we got to pick up a uh, John Deere, uh, same deal, the one that's got the bad rear end, rear end sitting right over here, the John Deere STX 38. And I bought that. And I also finally bought my zero turn. Oh yeah, it's about fucking time. I keep on saying it, but finally, uh, me and buddy there, Dwayne there, we finally went up today. Check out some stuff. If we had more room on the trailer, we probably would have stuck those two other things on there, but I guess we'll be going back up there to buy more tractors. So I bought the uh, zero turn for 200 bucks with the John Deere with the battery we're in, but um, pretty much I'm gonna own the John Deere tractor. I'm just gonna give the rear end to buddy there, Dwayne. So we can dump that on the other thing. It's kind of complicated how it's all going to work out, but it'll work out. Uh, there's a Kohler engine on it. Um, and, yeah, there's a Kohler engine on it. Uh, whatever it is on the other thing, it's like a 12. So I'm going to just turn around and see if I can sell that for like 100 bucks or something like that. Uh, seems to get compression and everything. I don't think there's a deck. The deck is missing. But uh, that's the year in zero turn. I got a photo of, my, I got a photo of it on my phone. Uh, it's got a 14 horse Briggs Vanguard um, that's blown up. Um, let's see. <laughs> but uh, we couldn't get it either because it was in the very, very back of the yard. And believe me, when I say it was back there. Alright. Let's see. So there's the motor. That's pretty much what I'm looking at. 14 horse Briggs Vanguard. Uh, apparently it's blown up. I don't really know for sure. Uh, it just really, I think it might be seized more than blown up. I don't really know. Didn't check the oil or anything because there's like a cover in the way. All right, and then there it is right there. Aaron Zero Turn. It's pretty good looking tractor. Uh, I could use a little washing, but other than that, it's all there. I don't know what size deck it's got. Um, I can't really tell on the photo, but it's a, you know, it's pretty cool. Like I said, I like different things, and that's the reason why I'm buying it. It was originally going to be a Husqvarna, but the Husqvarna is gone. So now I'm back to buying the Arians, which is I'm fine with. So first things worse, I'll stick a um, stick a, another motor or something on there, maybe even put the I don't know, I'll figure something out. I got uh, the Kohler engine back there. That's for a walk behind. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just go out buy a brand new motor for it. You never know. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this thing running today, hopefully, and uh, we'll take it from there. As far as I can see, it's gonna need a spark plug because it's missing. So I'm hoping it doesn't. It it has spark and it's not missing spark and all that good shit. But uh, check this out. It's like dented in. If this thing's gonna focus, come on, come on, focus. Son of a bitch. But it's it's got these little weird little creases in there. Really? You kidding me? Is there some grill emblem going on there and yeah what else is uh, got a US of A sticker it's uh three well pretty much one speed that's forward and reverse um well where what else we got back here serial number and I don't know what that is let's get that sticker there Manufactured since 1863, made in Newmark, Ohio. So if anyone's from uh, Ohio, Ohio, from Newmark, this is where the tractor was apparently made. And uh, lubrication instructions. That's awesome. A little bit of a dirty old four horse Briggs right there. So uh, I just thought it was pretty cool. I just think it's cool. So, anyway, I'm gonna get this thing hopefully going and we'll uh, take it from there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, figured I'd give you guys an update on what I've been doing for the past hour and somewhat now. Uh, so, here's the deal with this thing. <clears throat> so,. I took off the flywheel 
And I did the uh, points and some all stupid me. I was just screwing around with it and I took off the uh, the little can whatever you want to call it, the magneto. Um, took that off and I fucked up one of the wires. So I thought I could stick a little bit of dielectric grease there. Nope, not working. So I gotta get a new one of these. Uh, I thought I had one kicking around. I uh, checked on uh, that motor right there. I checked on my Han that's out in the shed, not the riding one, but the push mower. That didn't have it either. I uh, dug around, dug around, and well, couldn't find it. So whatever. I guess I'll just order a new one. It looked pretty uh, beat up anyway. The little fins were all kind of sort of intermingled. Um, but I did test it out to see if it would dry if I was pulling it. And well, it turns out you have to pretty much put your foot on that to make it go and put it in whatever selection you want it to go in. But, uh, yeah. Oh well. No big deal. Just holler out for the time being. But, uh, tell you what, guys, it, it's, a, it's a pretty small tractor. I mean,. Hmm. I wish I had something that I can compare it to. Like, there's my hand on the hood. Probably about five more hands and cover the hood. But so I didn't do anything on this yet. Probably maybe 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 do that tomorrow or something if I get bored. Chances are I'm gonna be working on that tomorrow. Um last night I was able to get the thing to fire up and I was kind of surprised and uh didn't have the pipes on or anything it was too late for me to make a video because all well, it was already rendering but uh yeah so at least i know it runs uh this piece came in today from the uh mail deck uh i came in and bought this i don't know i just bought it like wednesday third yeah i bought it thursday it's here today so yeah it's not bad came off of a panther so that's gonna fix the uh, hood problem uh, I just gotta pop that piece Oop. just gotta pop that piece out here put her all back together and the hood will finally open correctly but uh yeah I don't know if I showed you guys the headlight the other day too but I cleaned that up looks like shit a little better but I have an idea what I'm gonna do about the hood and uh, I'm pretty much gonna sand her all down uh, not go down, just going to get out the first coat of clear that the previous owner put on it. And pretty much clear it, sand it, clear it, sand it. Um, in the process of doing that, I'm going to paint, I'm not paint, but uh, this section right here, I'm thinking about doing metallic. Taking what I got a little bit left up in that gun up there. You know, when I do everything, I'll stick it at like a little, uh, little container or something like that and pretty much spray the uh, spray these little fins down like right in here maybe mask off right in there and just do right there same on the inside boom 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 you know I'm not gonna get too too carried away but I'll just kinda sort of brush it up in there maybe get a little airbrush and go tss, tss, type deal and then I'll continue flaring it might look a little different you know figure what the hell might as well uh, but I'm just trying to just trying to think about what I want to do for a snowman, but I think maybe next year I'm just going to ride this thing. You know, I, th I think if, uh, if I do the pipes right, or if the pipes don't come out as planned, um, that reminds me, I'm not going to use that welder. I'm actually going to talk to my uncle about using his welder so I can weld that up because I'm definitely going to need a gas welder to do it. Um, but uh, if that doesn't work, I'm just, like I said yesterday, I'm just going to throw some D&Ds on it. And uh, if I do that, I'll probably be using this next year, or this coming winter. But, uh, yes, I, I just don't think a sled's going to be in the budget for this year, considering I bought this. This is going to need about 500 bucks worth of work. Uh, I just got done buying, well, almost got done buying a zero turn that cost me 200 bucks. And i got to get a motor for it. Let's see if, it's, uh, if I can fix the motor that's on it. It's, right now, I think it's seized, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, and that's going to be like a $500 motor to replace. So that'll be awesome, but you never know. You never know. 
all of a sudden maybe uh, hit the lottery or something, you know, you never know. I mean, that also just reminded me I still got to replace the doors on my truck because they bar really badly need new doors on that truck. So I got to get new doors, I got to do the shocks sometime next week, I got to do the rear shocks this time. Blew those all out when I uh, did the, um, I loaded the truck up with all the cement block for the fence. So I got to do the rear shocks, I did the front shocks couple months ago or at least about a month ago um so yeah hopefully that sums up a lot of shit but we're gonna have a pretty busy week i'd say we got uh two push mowers out in the backyard there they need uh one needs a blade sharpened and an oil change doesn't want carb you know just just told me to do that the other one um i don't know if you guys remember that toro personal pace there the one that seized i fixed it for the guy uh that's back um Nothing wrong with I did. It's actually something's up with the uh, with the magneto now. So I'm gonna have to find uh, Tecumseh magneto, which I'm sure I have kicking one around after looking at the Tecumseh draw. That's my break stuff. Look at that. Didn't even open it up all the way in. There's one. So I have to throw one of those on. And hopefully she'll fire up pretty good. But uh, my plan is to get this tractor done by Monday, then come uh, Tuesday, we get the uh, John Deere up and running, then Wednesday or Thursday we'll get one of the other two tractors in, I'll probably bring in the, uh, the uh, outdoor white that I said I got, I don't know if I already told you that, we got an outdoor white coming in with the bagger and whatnots, uh, so that'll probably be coming in. And then what else do I get? I'm trying to think. There's one more tractor. Uh, oh yeah, the Scots. Scots there. And maybe we'll bring that in. Hopefully we'll have a good uh, assembly for next weekend. And uh, people will buy a bunch of stuff and make it. And then I can make a lot of money. Because I like that. But you never know. But man, my friggin' motor pile is piling up over there, and some of those motors are still good. Just said there's no room in here. I'm gonna get this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and that thing, and holy, you know. But, whatever. Do what you do. Just gonna wheel this thing outside there. I think we're gonna call her a day. I'm working on that thing for over, I don't wanna say at least an hour and 50 minutes anyway, trying to get this thing to go, and sure enough, it doesn't go. Oh well. But, uh, yeah. Woo wee! That's gonna be a fun project. Just a simple motor swap. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Shouldn't be too, too bad. It's too bad. It's a nice motor. <sighs> Not a single ounce of compression. Son of a bitch. But we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. And until then, don't let my massive, manly, super powerful lawnmower run you over. Oh yeah.